Hi, my name is Connor. I'm part of the Mass Digital Technical Team. I'm here to show you about the new device from Ajax called the Photo On Demand. Uh, within the box for the Photo On Demand, you will receive a quick start guide and also the fixing for it. Uh, you will need to be connected to a Hub 2 or a Hub 2 Plus as it uses the Wings radio protocol to connect back. Uh, it works in the same way as the other motion cams in that it's a passive infrared sensor. Uh, so that means it's looking for the same frequency waves that the human body emits as infrared. And when it detects those, it'll send a notification to your phone. And then your phone will be able to show you some photos taken by this, up to five photos at a time, in like a flipbook format then you can visually verify what has happened at the scene. Uh, so the difference between this and the other motion cam is that this is the photo on demand, meaning that you get extra peace of mind, so even if there's not been an alarm, you can still see what's happened on the scene, you can just request that. Uh, it needs to be connected to a hub with 2.13 firmware, which gives you the privacy settings. So what that means is that you can set so that installers can't just take photos of your house, for example, if you're a customer. Photo demand also enables the photo on scenario. So if a scenario starts occurring, like it's just a, a time schedule for your arming the system, it'll take a photo of that scenario or a leaky detect going off. Anything that causes the scenario will then be visually verified by photo on demand. Okay, so now we're going to configure the unit and show you how easy it is to set up and add to your phone or your hub. Okay, so here I am with the configuration side of things. So as you can see here, I'm on the Ajax app. I have a hub to add it, which is currently downstairs. I've got the motion cam and a photo on demand device. So the first thing we need to check is if the hub is on the correct firmware. The firmware for it is the 2.13 firmware, which enables the privacy settings from within the hub settings. So we go to privacy, and then here we can see that we can allow photos on demand. So we'll enable this, confirm. Okay, so the feature is now enabled. But now the feature is enabled, we have to choose which user or installer we want to be able to take the photo. So you've got total control of that. You can choose who can take a photo. You can choose which device they can take a photo on. So you can say, I want to use this one and another one on the site. Or you could say that this other person could only use one on site, but could use this one here, for example. So we'll choose this one, take and view photos, um, always. So you can choose it when armed or always. So we'll go back now. And we should be able to see that we have the photo on demand feature available. So we we'll take a photo on demand now. There we go, photo request sent photo received. So now we're getting our photos through. So here you can see a nice snapshot of the quick start manual and a bit of our interactive whiteboard there. Uh, we got a series of three photos. So it, if it was moving across, you'd have like a little flipbook style picture of it moving across say it's person or animal if it was on request. In the actual photo on demand settings, we can see that we have photos by alarm. So if it sets off by an alarm, you can choose how many photos you want, either one photo, two, three, four, five. And if we go into photos on demand, we can also choose how many photos you want on demand. So if you just want one view of the area, choose that one. If you want like a bit of a, a motion, you can see up to three. In addition to the photo on demand feature, you also have the photo on scenario feature with the photo on demand unit. So if you go into the photo on demand settings, you will see scenarios. In scenarios, if you have any scenarios set to do with relays, wall switches, uh, here you can have the photo being taken not just on the photo on demand motion alarm, but also on the scenarios triggering. That was a quick configuration of the photo on demand unit. All the products on the table here are available for Mass Digital, but if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.